Hello, my name is Tyler from Wensco, and today we're doing an intro into Roland VersaWorks. We're just going to show you how to import a job and print and cut it. This is pretty much the basics of Roland VersaWorks, so let's go ahead and get started. Today we're working with the Roland VS640. This is a print and cut machine which should allow us to do both of the things that we need to do today. The first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is just go into the file menu and we're just going to go ahead and add a job. So we'll click file, add to job QA. This job is on the desktop. We're just looking for one that we have a print and cut. We'll do a separate video on how to set up a print and cut file. You can see it's pretty pixelated on the right side there, but it's pretty high quality. It's just set up this way so that the software will run properly. It's not a reflection of the quality of your print in any way, shape or form. So after we've done that, we're going to go down here to the settings options. Settings is the bottom left button. This is the first menu. This is the layout menu. The first thing we'll do is get media width. That'll tell us what we're dealing with. We got a 48 inch roll on there. So we got 45.11 inches to work with here. The next option below that is if you wanted to set up your job to print, you know, a certain width, like 30 inches or something like that, you could set it to 30 and it would size it accordingly. The other option is fit to media size, which is just going to print it as wide as you possibly can. Like you see there, the next option under there is position. So say if you had something that was this size and you wanted to print it, you know, in the middle, or you had a job in the first 15 inches, you could set it to start at the 15 inch point. You could also just center it on the media, clicking the button below that as well. The next option in here is copies. So if you wanted to print a few different ones, you could bump this up and print a few of them. If you had the width, you could also print them side by side as well. The last thing I do here is just set it up. So it actually looks upside down. This way, when it comes off the printer, it's actually right side up. It allows you to tell if what you're printing is good or not as it comes off the printer. So it's kind of your best option there. The next tab is quality. You can see it's set to standard right now. Standard high speed have the same time. So there's no reason not to print standard on this printer. You can see high speed has a 14 minute timer on it. So you will get better resolution, but it's obviously going to take almost three times as long to do that. You can choose to print bi-directionally or unidirectionally. So it'll print on both passes. Unidirectional will give you a better print, but it is also going to up your time for sure. It will give you the best alignment with your print, I think is the best way for me to put it. And it's kind of the easiest one to work with. If you really need a good print, I would do unidirectional high quality, but most of the time bi-directional is going to be just fine. The next option is color adjustment and file format. Nothing really you need to deal with there. That's all managed by the software. The next one is crop marks. You can actually set up crop marks. So if you weren't going to print and cut and you were just going to send it to a cutter, you could set it up here. There's a few different options that's here, but we'll probably cover all those in a different video as well. The next one is just some printer controls. You can actually set it to sheet cut immediately and everything else on here is pretty much managed by the, the printer. So you shouldn't need to mess with that as well. The next one is cutting options. This will be where you pick if you just want to print and cut. You can see right now this job is set to cut because it has the red outline. You can set to print only, the red outline would go away. You could also set a cut only and the print would actually go away and you would just cut out what is there. So there's a few other options here like cutting the image boundaries, anything like that, but mostly you're just gonna choose it to print and cut or just print or just cut, one of those options. The next one is job management. This will allow you to save the job as a Roland file. So it'd be nice for you to come back and do it later. If you're going to print this same exact job, it's kind of nice to use this feature. This one we'll do a different video on, but this is for tiling. So if you were going to do something that is way wider than you could print, you can actually tile your jobs so they're easy to overlay. So you could do something that's even wider than 64 inches in this printer. And the last one is variable data. You're never really going to mess with that one. So. That's pretty much all the options here in the layout menu. We'll set fit to media size for this one and then just go ahead and hit OK. It is now set up to print and cut. So basically, once we see it in here, again, the preview is pixelated, but it doesn't reflect the quality of the image in any way, shape or form. And after we realize it's all set up, it's the right size. We can just go down to the bottom here and the third button in is print. And from here, it will go ahead and rip and print. 
And that's your basic intro to how to print and cut using Roland VersaWorks. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can still contact us here at Wensco. We'll be happy to help you. But if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. And if you liked anything you saw in this video, you can check it out at Wensco.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.